I just want to interject right now and say that this is so much bigger than these two books that I'm going to recommend to you and just it's just been recently that I've gotten into Afrofuturism myself so please please again do your own research I'm gonna link a few articles on Afrofuturism down below so that you can look for more books that might be uh, more to your liking but these are the ones that I've read recently so these are the ones that I feel comfortable recommending to you hi guys I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel money reads and yes we are still in this location because it's still cloudy outside and I think the light coming in here is really nice Afrofuturism what is it why you should be reading it in my last video i talked about some non-fiction books that i'm planning to read that will further my education about racism in america and in the world because racism is universal that being said i wanted to touch on a subject that i find isn't really talked about much on booktube at least not that I know, and that is Afrofuturism literature. Afrofuturism is a term that doesn't just come from literature, it's a movement that encompasses your, your outfits, poetry, movies, it's a whole cultural movement that seeks to stop the erasure of African culture in science fiction and futuristic idea from the small research that i was able to do on what afrofuturism is basically it takes the problems of 20th century african people and brings them into science fiction or into futuristic movement in literature of course this means usually sci-fi. Sorry, I'm itchy all over the place because of my allergies. So basically, when we read sci-fi, what tends to happen is we find an erasure, erasure, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, erasure of African culture. We tend to read books where basically humankind has become one and usually the culture that has prevailed is white culture and we don't talk about race anymore and we don't talk about african culture it's all kind of western european based or you know white even if they describe the characters as black there is no mention of any racism or anything of the sort there's no mention of any struggle there's no mention of caste systems or race you know or or, or anything to do with Africanness. In fact, even the way they are dressed, we tend to think, oh, that is just futuristic. But really, is it really when, you know, all of beautiful African styles are just pushed over for everyone wears beige and khaki and not that white, not that black people can't, but you know, you know what I mean? We kind of erase the things that we don't wanna like that we think are not futuristic enough and I am afraid to tell you that futurism and sci-fi are usually white based that being said and now that you have a little bit of an idea please don't take this as like oh now I know what Afrofuturism is remember to always do your own research because I only have here a couple of minutes to explain something to you that is a big ass movement. In fact, I will link a video down below where I forget the channel name, I'm so sorry, but I will link it up in the cards and oh, are the cards here? Uh, yes, I remember now because the cards are where, where my eye is. So I will link the video up in the cards that talks about Afrofuturism. And the video is made by two incredible black women whose voice is way more important than mine. That being said, what are some books that depict Afrofuturism that I recommend that you read? I left my copy of Binti on my bookshelf, so I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna show you a cover of Binti right here. Binti is the story of a woman, a black woman, who is an incredibly gifted mathematician and who gets accepted into a university in which is basically like the most elite university out there and she is the only one of her people to have ever been accepted to the university which already it talks a lot about 
how black people are excluded from elite universities unless they're athletes because we just love to support black people when they're winning gold medals for us but you know otherwise they're just there you know that being said this book not only talks about race but it also discusses how other humans view the himba people which is the people that binti is a part of and they talk about their use of how they put their hair and how people grab at her hair which is something that black people go through all of the time and how the history of her people is in her hair and it's just a really interesting short novella which doesn't erase africanness from sci-fi and i feel that i know a lot of people didn't like it but i feel that if you go into it knowing a little bit of the context of how it was written or why it was written then you will be able to appreciate it more and also this is from a black author and there is a race of aliens that is brought into this which i think represents so much more than just this random race of aliens that <laughs> is seeking to destroy humans so if you haven't picked up binti this is me endorsing you too and so that you can get a little bit of a feel for afrofuturism the next book that i want to recommend to you is the deep by river solomon now this novella talks about what history means and why erasing a people's history means erasing their very identity and sense of self in this book we follow a group of mermaid-like creatures that are basically birthed from african slave women that were thrown overboard when they were pregnant and they had their babies underwater before they died and in this story there is a historian who reminds these mermaid people constantly about their past and what happens is this historian runs away because she can't handle the pain and the anguish and she meets a group of humans and one of these humans has gone through something very similar where she is the last of her people this story is a beautiful beautiful story about the importance of remembering where you come from and helping other people remember where you come from because the moment you allow them to forget then you are essentially destroying a complete culture and this is also a lovely sapphic romance which amazing and it's not a tragic one well there is some tragedy but in the end it's not tragic and i feel that that is such an important thing to talk about i really love this novella you can find it on script at least in spain you can and i really recommend that you read it because it will blow your mind it's at least it blew my mind and well my camera is flashing at me so that means that i have to wrap this up but that's all i wanted to say that is the books that i wanted to talk about and well i want you to tell me if you have heard of afrofuturism what have you read that is afrofuturistic and as always my comments are open to your ideas to your thoughts to whatever you want to share with me and thank you so much for watching my videos this has been a very very good week for me not not in the sense that it's been good because it's actually been really bad throughout the word but because it's pushed me it's pushed me out of my comfort zone it's pushed me to make videos that i wasn't like thinking about making and i'm very very glad that it has turned out this way so before my camera turns off i want to bid you adieu and i will see you in another galaxy far far away full of beautiful afrofuturism thanks again for watching guys Bye.